Hi everybody, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta and today I want to talk to you about why I prefer using QuickBooks Online with GoPayment and as you can see I am in an actual client file and I have obscured their identity and I do have their permission to share this information with you. We are in their products and services list which will be relevant later as we talk about this and let me tell you a little bit of background about this client she had reached out to me because she had started a business where they sell produce and other things like that because they grow a lot of their stuff and they jar a lot of it and they bake goods with it and things like that so they wanted to use it with the go payment app but they were originally using desktop and we found that the desktop go payment experience is really clunky and so I'm going to talk about why we prefer and are now using QuickBooks Online with go payment but before we do that we need to talk a little bit about go payment and the go payment app as well as the EMV compliant card reader so we're going to switch gears real quick and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about with that so here is the EMV compliant card reader. As you can see, it's very small. It's in the palm of your hand. And it has basically two slots to it. The top one is where you can actually insert an EMV chip reader. And then the other one is where you can swipe. And then when you turn it over, you can see the plug-in where you can charge it. But otherwise, it's run by Bluetooth. So very simple and it works really well with a, either an iPhone or Android device. Where the problem comes with using desktop is that the experience in the Go Payment app is really clunky. You do not have the opportunity to granularly set up your products and services where they flow really smoothly. There's also no sync capability with the desktop payment as you would have in QBO. And so to demonstrate that, I'm just going to focus on the QBO side of it because when you go into the QBO side of it, it's so much more efficient, it's so much more fluid and, and smooth process. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to set up your products and services list like you would ordinarily do and in this case she set everything up as non-inventory because she's not going to track the inventory per se and in fact a lot of the stuff that she sells you really cannot track by inventory and as a matter of fact you could probably if you, if you wanted to use inventory to inventory this stuff you can do it outside in another app or in a spreadsheet which is what she's going to do but the beauty of this is as you are using the go payment app and you're swiping the cards and everything, all these items actually flow into the Go Payment app. Everything syncs up really well. Now, of course, you got to have QuickBooks Payments in order to do this. But once you get your payments account, you set up your products and services just like we have done here. And then you go into the Go Payment app and link those two accounts together. And then all these products and services will flow through the app and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Everything flows perfectly and seamlessly from the QBO file into the app and including the sales tax and that was one of the big drawbacks with using desktop. You could not granularly set up the sales tax like you can in QBO. In fact, using the automated sales tax features in QBO makes this an ideal setup because you can actually go in here and let me show you this real quick. You can actually go in here into your sales tax center and not only set up your local rates here, but you can also add some custom rates of which she had to add a 3% Douglas County sales tax that wasn't included in the automated rates that she had so all of that flows through the app quite easily painless in desktop it just did not work the way that she needed it to work so again if you are looking to use the go payment app and the go payment card swiper then you ideally want to use qbo for the best experience hopefully this will help you today have a wonderful day and take care everybody 
Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.